How's that Christmas shopping coming along? You know that one car guy or car girl in the family whom you never know what to get? Well, here's 11 gift ideas for them. Or for you, because sometimes we know best what we need. And there doesn't have to be an occasion for it. Let's go. As I'm releasing this video in November 2023, it's literally a month before Christmas, so you have a few days to shop around. Maybe you'll pick something from my suggestions or maybe you'll just find an inspiration here. And if you're watching this in July, think of next Christmas, birthdays or just something for yourself. I'm sure you deserve it. I own, clearly, some of the products listed below here. I'm using them on a daily basis. I also considered buying some of them. This list doesn't include products which I would not at least consider buying. Some of the links may be affiliate. Oh, and by the way, prices are obviously subject to change over time. Since we're talking about a car person, a lot of stuff on the list will be either tools or something to use in or around the car. A simple and potentially useful gift is an upholstery removal tool set. You know that buzzing sound from under the dashboard or that broken door lock actuator? Getting to it is simple if you have the right tools which protect the upholstery. A simple set costs around 10 euro or 10 dollars or Amazon. Just remember that special person will probably disappear in the garage for a couple of evenings. And while they're in there, perhaps they could vacuum your car as well. I know there are plenty of cheap car vacuum cleaners out there, but... Um, if you want to get something done, I'd not go below a car share or a Bosch device. These will set you back 50 to 100 euro. And sure, a full-size vacuum cleaner plugged into the electrical socket would be better, but sometimes you're away from the mains. Speaking of being away, whether you're taking your dog out for a walk somewhere in the wild, riding your bike along the trails or just walking in the forest, chances are you're going to end up with dirty paws, bikes and boots. I saw this portable pressure washer in my friend's car last spring and I bought it instantly. I initially thought I'm going to use it to rinse the car on the filming set, but even more so I use it to clean my shoes before getting into the car or even before entering the house. During our camping trip I also used it as a shower, just get the right nozzles for various applications. Prices start at around 150 euro. If there's more than two of you I suggest the larger 7 liter tank. Be careful with the adventure box optional as it raises the already high center of gravity. You need to secure this thing properly in your car boot. A multi-tool. If a person you're buying it for doesn't have a multi-tool yet, it's going to be easier because they still don't know they need it. And once they learn how indispensable it is, either they'll get something more advanced or they'll tell you what to get them next time. Leatherman usually means quality and easy access to spare parts and accessories. This skeletal has a limited set of tools but they're very useful, it fits well in your pocket, there's a pocket clip to make it easy to access it and take it out, and uh, it comes in various colors, and uh, there are two, part, two blades. The basic one has a serrated blade, which I like because sometimes it works as a saw. Prices start at around 100 euro, and I know there are more complicated and expensive multi-tools out there, but this is a good start. Do you have a car you drive only when it's sunny and dry, or maybe you store your motorcycle for the winter. If you park your car for a couple of weeks or more, chances are your battery will die. It took me years to realize there was a simple solution, like an intelligent battery charger, also known as a battery tender. I have one by Osram and another one by SeaTech. One charges our MX-5 or Countryman, depending on the season, and the other one I bought for my parents to keep their car ready to go whenever they come back from their travels. 50 euro buys you a peace of mind that the car will start the next time you turn the key. But if you don't have a power outlet in your garage, you may need a booster. I think that's more of an emergency solution because it's better to just take care of your car battery rather than trying to bring it back from the dead. Prices start at around 180 euro, so it may actually be cheaper to get a power outlet in your garage. And if you don't have power in your garage and your battery is dead, it's pretty dark in there. Which is why you will need a headlamp. I recommend this little Nightcore for about 45 euro. It's light, compact and it's got a string instead of a strap. So it's easier to carry it in your pocket or your EDC kit. Now, something for the body. Perhaps a t-shirt or a vest. 
from the official store of that car person's favorite car brand. Anna bought this BMW M reversible jacket for 230 euro, and as far as I'm concerned, this is the best BMW lifestyle item out there. There are still some last pieces available here and there, so hurry. I have some car journalist friends who appear at track events wearing very stylish leather gloves. I'm sure they would help a great deal in classic cars with wooden steering wheels, but leather on leather is slippery. Never mind, it's fashion, look it up. Also those Napo gloves would look great during cars and coffee events. And if you don't want specifically driving gloves, there are many other styles to choose from for men and women. Anna and I each have a pair more or less like this for many years and they're brilliant. Prices start at around 40 euro. You know what also looks good with driving gloves? A driving watch. If you have two and a half thousand euro laying around, the Tissot Heritage 1973 offers, in my opinion, great value. And I know, two and a half grand watch, great value. Mm -hmm. It's the brand, the movement, the heritage. In the world of watches, that's pretty affordable, especially if some micro brand you may have never heard of will charge you 600 euro what a bulletproof Seiko chronograph costs. And last but not least, something for the soul. How about a book? Now, Boring Car Trivia by Richard Porter, formerly of Top Gear, is right what it says on the cover. And uh, I think he's come out with Volume 4 recently. What Did Jesus Drive by Jason Vines, former PR chief for automotive giants like Chrysler and Ford, is fascinating. And Ludicrous by Edward Niedermeyer about Tesla is also worth reading. Now, those are my gift ideas for car people for Christmas and in general. If you have some other gift ideas, please share them in the comment section below. This is not my typical listicle, but new listicles are published every last Friday of the month. If you have an idea for a list I should make, drop me a comment below. Maybe it'll be a subject of one of the future videos. If you like my sarcastic, down-to-earth and possibly mildly amusing car reviews, join me every Friday at 3 p.m. Central European time and don't forget to subscribe and like this video as it helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.